How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another new episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. We're at the top of the tallest building in Zozo. And we have just been tasked by the Esper Rama to go and rescue his stolen, his kidnapped compatriots at the Magitech Research Facility. Cyan and Gap. Everyone here. I was thinking. Let's talk on the way. The Empire is trying to drain magic from espers. This can't be true. Celis? I don't remember because I was asleep when they augmented me. But I've heard rumors to that effect. Then we're going in. We'd best split into two groups. We still need to beef up, beef up our defenses in Narsha. Indeed. I'll go to the Empire. I know it well. But alone? Don't worry. I'll go with her. Locke. You need a hand? I think we're going to stick with our team here since we've already got the uh, Espers equipped. And again, these guys are starting to... Well, no, they're leveling up with us. So we're fine. Please wait for us in Narsha. We'll find our way back safely. If you wish to change group members, head to Narsha. So, how are we going to get there? The Empire is on the continent to the south. No boats go there. The people of Jador, a town to the south, can probably help us. Locke. Yes? Why are you coming with me? Well, there's bound to be treasure there. And besides, I've always wanted an inside look at the Empire. Ghost dude. Seems you have a piece of magicite. Now I know how to use that first. I don't need to put people through a tutorial. Basically what this really changes for us. You're gonna see when I kill these things. What the hell? How did that work? Oh my god. Thank god those ones with the boss didn't do that. Okay, let's get into another fight and I'll point it out next time. I got a little shocked by that one. Come on, someone attack me. These will work. See, it's now saying I'm getting magic points. That's how you learn spells. So now if I go to skills lock magic, he's learned 30% of bolt, 6% of bolt 2, and 5 15% of poison.
Once enough points have been earned, then you can ca then the spell is learned permanently. start talking to the people of Jador. The gambler likes flashy shows. He's always at the opera. I think he likes the beautiful divas. The gambler, huh? Maria! Are you talking to me? Sorry, my mistake. Wow, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh boy, now I really am in trouble. Looks just less, just looks like Maria. You're a spitting image of Maria. He dropped something. That person dropped it off. He's the director of the operas here. Everyone just calls him Impresario. He's been in a tizzy ever since the letter arrived. My dear Maria, I want you for my wife. I'm coming for you. The Wandering Gambler. Who's this wandering what's-his-name? You born on a farm, son? Jack playing, world traveling, casino dwelling, free spirit. That's Setzer, owner of the world's only airship. If we could get that airship, we'd make the Empire in no time. Let's set up a meeting with Setzer. Well, sounds like we're heading to the Opera House. And what's considered pretty much one of the most famous scenes in all of RPGs. Lots happens to you like save, so let's do that. And now we'll fight stuff! Doing Sabin's blitzes is the equivalent of doing, like, fighting games. I've never been that good at the quarter and a half circles. Ooh, I got that one. Another two magic ones. Ah, you again! I read that letter. Setzer's coming to steal it. He'll probably appear right at the climax of scene one. He loves an entrance. Right. If we could only grab him then. Dear me, no. You'll ruin the performance. I'll lose my job. Then your history. This is simply horrid. I want the performance to be a success. But I don't want Maria to be abducted. We'll let him grab her. We'll use Celis as a decoy. After she's abducted, I'll follow him right to his airship. If something should happen to Maria. That's why the decoy will hide Maria somewhere safe. Come again? You said she looks like Maria, right? 
Now, just a minute. Celis will be our Maria. She'll lead us to the airship. Brilliant! Wait! I'm a general, not some opera floozy. and file their little plan. Let's get ready. Sell us at showtime. Quite how I'm gonna do this scene justice. I'm not a singer. The West and East. We're waging war. Draco, the West's great hero, thinks of his love, Maria. Is she safe? Is she waiting? Everything okay? Go right ahead. Oh, why is everyone singing? Ay, ay, ay! Is that you? Lock. Why did you help me escape back there? I... once abandoned someone when she needed me. Somewhere inside you, you were saving her, weren't you? That ribbon suits you. On with the show. This is a big scene in which Maria senses that something's happened to Draco. You'd better check the score one last time. Read the score? Sure. Oh, my hero, so far away now, will I ever see your smile? 
Love goes away like night into day. It's just a fading dream. I'm the darkness, you're the stars. Our love is brighter than the sun. For eternity, for me there can be. Only you, my chosen one. Must I forget you, our solemn promise? Will autumn take the place of spring? What shall I do? I'm lost without you. Speak to me once more. Here you pick up the flowers, climb to the stairs to the balcony, high atop the castle. Raise the flowers to the stars. Hurry, you have just moments before scene two starts. Okay. Now, I have to actually hit the inputs here right, so let me go over this one more time just for my own memory. Okay, I think I'm about as ready as I'm going to be. Hope I don't screw this up, guys. <laughs> the forces of the West fell, and Maria's castle was taken. Prince Ralph's of the East took her hand by force, but she never stopped yearning for Draco. Leave the past behind. 
Our kingdom is adopting the spirit of the East. so I'm gonna jam up your opera! Ultros! Uh-oh. Better tell the impresario. Uh, why is everyone singing? What? The survivors of the West attack! Impossible! Attack! Wait! How might he disrupt the opera? With that? <laughs> Let's see if Maria can shrug this off! Ah, this is heavier than I thought! It'll take me five minutes to drop it! We haven't a second to lose. Talk to the man in the room to the far right. He'll help you get up there. It's as good as done. The impresario asked me to have you press the far right switch. Enter the room to the far left of the stage, then make for the framework above the stage. stuff like fire dance just in time. The clock don't stop ticking while we're fighting. Better be careful not to mess up my inputs. That'll be helpful. Oh man, didn't screw up. This one 
got some reinforcements. There. Three minutes left. Not good. Save and learn to muddle. This can't be good. Disaster! If the two heroes are flattened, the opera's over. Then who will win the girl? Neither Draco nor Ralph will save Celis. I, Locke, the world's premier adventurer, will save her. Aya, uh, what awful acting. Silence! You're in the presence of octopus royalty! A lowborn thug like you could never defeat me! Hmm. Might as well make the most of this. Music! Long time no see! You've changed! Did you miss me? And of course I start out by screwing up a blizzard. And I screwed it up again. No, I didn't. I did fire it. I didn't mean to. Good at all. Come on, get out of it, Edgar. Imp, pal, buddy. We're in trouble here. At least it allowed him to get himself out of it. Okay. That means we have a chance. No! Son of a... Get 
Just in time, he got muddled again. This fight's basically going to be up to lock at this point. No garden variety octopus! Oh great, it goes back to normal and now lock has changed. Wonderful. That's not good. Speed it is. Thank you. We're still in trouble, though. Hate to waste these, but at the same time, I don't want to lose. You read it! Impal, buddy! Great. No, Edgar's imp to lock isn't. Having fun! Damn it! I ain't no garden variety octopus! This is gonna be tight. Frick! Take your turn, you stupid up. Well, Wonderful. Now all I have is Edgar. Excellent, excellent. I can drill. Please be enough. Damn it! That probably just lost this for me. Depends on if he does it again. Yep, there he goes. Frick. That's it! We lose! <laughs> well, that didn't exactly go as planned.
didn't go very well. Mind you, it was just the cruddy luck of three of two out of three of us being in a position to get caught with that ability. Which means before we go back, I'm going to have to fight a little bit. Um, so yeah, we're going to wrap this one up here. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please like, subscribe, and favorite. And throw any feedback you may have in the comments below, as I always look forward to hearing from you. And we'll see you again next time on another new episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Farewell.